okay, this is seriously the easiest way of learning the golf swing. All you need to remember is two letters of the alphabet. That's it. Can you remember two letters of the alphabet? Come on, let's get started. So are you ready for the magic letters? Drum roll, please. Y and L. How simple is that? If you can remember Y and L and put them in the right order, you're going to be able to swing the golf club like that. First thing I want you to do is to get in a golf stance. So you need to take a golf grip, which is going to be thumbs down, fingers around, and of course, if you're a right-handed golfer, your left hand is on top. You're going to spread your feet apart, and you're going to bow to the ground in this position. And guess what, guys? Here is your letter Y. Do you see it? Two arms in the club make a letter Y. How simple is that? So you want to find this balanced Y position as you address the golf ball. Great. Step one, check. All right, now it's going to get really crazy. We're going to swing our Y back away from the ball. It looks like this. And as we do it, with some pace and with nice relaxed arms and wrists, you're going to automatically create a new letter. It's an L. A nice 90 degree angle, a nice L shape up here, nice and high by your shoulder, automatic. Okay, can you put it together? Ready? Y, L. Awesome, let's do it again. Y, L. Pretty simple so far, right? Now, I said there's only two letters, but that's only half the golf swing. So what do you think comes next? Hmm, this isn't rocket science, people. We're gonna swing back down to a why? There's a little but, though. Oh my God, she said but. So the key is to get that second Y to show up at impact and not before. So we go Y, L, we maintain the L, and then we see the Y right at impact. And to be honest, the Y changes shape a little bit, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a lowercase letter Y. Ooh, tricky. So why does it look like that? Because if I'm swinging to my target and trying to advance a ball this way, I have to use my body in an athletic way and get my weight to shift and my body to move and turn to the target. And so you can see as I'm doing this motion, it's kind of pulling my body left, my arm, and the handle. And so that's going to be our nice extended Y position at impact as we let go of our L. So what happens next should be automatic. We go from this beautiful Y position, we're going to be striking the golf ball through impact, and then finishing in another, you guessed it, L. Can you see it? It's just a reverse L. That right? should happen automatically if you're relaxed. If you're really tense and tight, you might have a really straight Y for too long, which can leave the club face open, or you can hit thin shots. If you're relaxed, the club and that Y will bottom out on the mat correctly or the ground if you're on grass, and then you'll finish naturally in a folded position way up over here. Okay, so let's put it all together. Y, L, Y, L, Y, L, Y, L. So simple. is not hard. How easy is this? Y L Y L. How simple is that? Two letters, two times. I think you can remember that. Wait, do you hear that? I think it's the first song. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, let's get this ball off the ground. I said, young man, when you're playing around, there's no need to feel unhappy young man there's a way to go low i said a young man you should know i'm a pro you can listen and i'm sure you will find that this golf tip is worth your time it's fun to swing with a y l y l it's fun to swing with a you need to employ you can keep up with all the boys y l y l it's fun to swing with the y l y l you can get your swing fixed you can have a good round you can see your scores go down if you enjoy 
enjoyed this edutainment, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. We'll see you next time.